So we're on our way to uh, Locomotion, the Railway Museum in Shildon. Uh, it's part of the National Railway Museum and it looks very interesting. We've been before and it was uh, quite fascinating, especially since they had a version of Stevenson's rocket, which is always interesting to look at, the first uh, passenger style railway. And it was good. It, it's good fun. So I'm looking forward to going back and having another look. We're, they've got uh, the train from the railway children this time, which should be interesting to see. And uh, are you looking forward to it as well, Jen? Yeah, very much so. So uh, it should be quite good. Like you say, we've been there before, um, but it, it's always nice to go back and you know you see things that you've missed, and also the exhibits do move around a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun today. So let's see what's there. Big, aren't they? Yeah, this is a Queen Mary brake van. Um, I do like these. They're, they're, they're quite a, a, an interesting, very different brake van. Great Western Railway Pannier Tank, but it's actually the one used in the 1970 Railway Children uh, film, and it's been cosmetically restored to the livery that it wore in the film, which is totally fictitious, Great Northern and Southern Railway. Um, and it really does look nice, in fact it's uh, so newly done I can still smell the paint on it. There's uh, uh, a gentleman just been walking around touching up little bits with a tin of brown paint. It smells like an airfix kit. Yeah. And this has really caught our eye. This is um, what appears to be an original Stockton and Darlington Railway carriage. And it's, it's quite interesting to see. We read the, the plaque and the little label with it. And it appears to be an original. And um, it, it's built very much in the style of um, horse-drawn stagecoaaches. And as Zoe and I were discussing, it, it's probably very much a case of they went, well, we need, we need a carriage. Well, we need some means of taking posh people on this railway. I'll stick a, a stagecoach on, on, uh, on wheels and we'll be right. We've got here another one of these Stockton and Darlington railway coaches. Uh, but we're on a platform here now so we can see it from platform level. Um, we're just looking on the roof and it's interesting that they, they borrow a lot from the stagecoach design. Even down to what appear to be these rails to put the luggage on the roof. I'm not sure whether they'd actually have been used for that because you can see the little tin pots of the um, the flues for the uh, probably what would have been. It was the sign over there said they were used and they kept the luggage on the roof like a stagecoach. Okay. And uh, we can see here, um, like we talked before, very much borrows uh, from the design of the old uh, horse stagecoaches. Well, we just stood here uh, in the main hall at Shildon and we're next to this uh, snowplow. This is the North Eastern Railway snowplow number 12, Percy Main, which uh, is uh, a place up near, near Newcastle, Sunderland Way. We've got the original painting of Eden Valley Standard by John Wigston and uh, this uh, plough is certainly one to exactly the same design is featured um, in that painting, so it's nice to see the real thing. You can see in the pre grouping period the amount of pride that went into the livery on these things. And all that, of course, is, uh, would be hand painted. I think this is a transfer, but uh, certainly the lettering and the linings all hand painted. 
so there we have it. That's uh, very interesting, Dave. We've had uh, a look at some very interesting trends. It's amazing to see just how much size and uh, engineering goes into the train that you don't see when you're on the platform. Because when you go around there, you get to see underneath as well. And the intricacy of some of the stuff I was talking to Jen about, just the, the way they've done the springs with the amounts, amounts of metal that they have. It's amazing to think all of that feat of engineering just to make sure that the trend doesn't wobble too much, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's been a very... Whoa, there's lots and lots of bumps in this road. So <laughs> I think I'm going to get a bit sick, so I'm, I'm going to cut this short. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this. And if you did, remember to click the like button, share it with your friends so that they can see the modern rail... Sorry, the real railway museum, in fact. Uh, children, and remember to subscribe so you get uh, more videos as they come out. But until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson. You've been watching The Zog on ZJKR, and I'll see you next time.